Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode. Today we are going with episode number 6. We do start this game against West Brom on world class. I know I said I'd change it, change it down. We'll see how this goes and then I'll decide afterwards whether or not we should change it down or not. But into the game we go. And you can see here we uh, had the Barclays Premier League overlay today. I decided to actually show you guys this for a change. I normally forget to because it does go on for you know a fair amount of time. So... If you want to keep seeing this, then that's great. But we are actually in 19th at the moment, which is really bad. And it's part of the reason that I do actually want to change the difficulties because we are struggling at the moment. And hopefully here, we can try and pick up some points. You know, we've got three games this episode for a change. And we're trying to mix it up between two and three. The thing with two is it means I can get it up daily because it's easier to edit and stuff like that. And I'm trying to keep this series daily. And I'm going to be working out a schedule soon and the my player will be on that schedule as well so you guys can kind of know when and what i upload but for now we're going to jump straight into the game here against west bromwich albion and see what we can do straight away here in the sixth minute with mccarthy who by the way just just keep an eye on james mccarthy in this video because he is a little bit of a tank but anyway you can see there we're still struggling to get through the defensive lines and it's i think that's the problem with world class for me at this moment in time is i'm just not good enough at the moment to be playing on world class so you can see human signed down the wing. Someone who I'm really disappointed with so far. Hopefully he'll come good you know, in the next couple of episodes. Because otherwise I'm tempted to get rid of him in the January transfer window. He really hasn't been all that great for you know the £10 million that we did pay for him. And I think Pienaar would just be just as good to be honest at the moment. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But you can see into the 34th minute now we are still nil-nil. Which is not too bad you know. I'd much rather be 0-0 than 1-0 down, that's for sure. But McCarthy up to Ross Barkley. He dinks it over to Lukaku, who unfortunately can't get onto the end of it. And that's another player that I'm really not enjoying is Romelu Lukaku at the moment. I don't know why. I do change the formation around at some point in this episode to see if that was a problem. But Adeye there, Brown Adeye scores a very nice goal. A very easy goal. For some reason, even though Tim Howard's gone up to an 84 overall, which is absolutely crazy considering he's 35, that is a poor goal to be conceding. I think part of the reason is he just doesn't have the speed anymore to get down on the ground quickly but they come close here again and oh god like world class is just so difficult and you can see that I'm rarely even getting chances on goal and I think that's part of the reason is I really do struggle with the world class difficulty but Lukaku comes here again very poor shot I don't know why he didn't just take it on his weak foot and try and power it I'm also going to be trying to finesse shot more but I do forget to sometimes and you'll see that a lot of the shots just don't do much we didn't get a penalty there which was surprising because the referees on this game are very strict and coming in here with Hassan, again, he just can't seem to do anything. And it's really frustrating because, you know, he cost us, like, half of our transfer budget. Maybe a little bit more than that. And for him not to be doing much is a disappointment. But it did end 1-0, which was very unfortunate for us. And um, I do change down the difficulty now. I'm be doing this until the January transfer window. By then, I should be good enough to go back onto World Class. I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with that or you think I'm shit. That's absolutely fine. I am shit at FIFA. I'll admit that. Hold my hands up in the air. I'm not a pro. And I'm definitely not good at this game at all. But you can see here we do make a few adjustments to the team. Or at least I think I do. And sonogo has gone up to a 70 which is good. Um, I might try and get Yaya Sonogo permanently at the end of the season. Because I realise he isn't actually injury prone anymore. And if he can keep on growing up to maybe like an 80 overall that would be absolutely great. But you can see here I do change the behaviours of the players. I'm going to be doing this more often. I'm going to save some custom tactics as well. To try and you know make sure the players are in the right positions. Not attacking when they don't need to be. And such like we do go into a league game here against Fiorentina, which is the game first game on professional. And I'm not gonna lie, it it felt a lot better. Um, it did feel a lot better. It felt more like world class on 14. And McGeady comes here, comes close with a shot in the 11th minute. But I'm definitely thinking that for now, I'm on the right difficulty now. You know, it feels a little bit easier, not too much easier, but it's easy enough that we can actually get results. Because if we carry on losing, we are gonna end up getting sacked, and I'd absolutely hate for that to happen. Because obviously we were only six episodes in and to get sacked this early on would be embarrassment. Barry here with a free kick. Very shit free kick. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really good at free kicks. I never really have been in FIFA. Something I should look to improve on. But Lukaku here comes into the box. Tries a little finesse shot and it just didn't work. And I was like for God's sake. Why don't you go for the far right like Kevin Morales did in the last episode. And again just could not get through that defence for some reason. It was really frustrating me. That was half time though at 0-0. And we do carry on into the second half. I was defending all right actually you know this game I started to kind of pick it up trying to track back more and defend and not just run all over the place and we get a ball down from James McCarthy to Romelu Lukaku who is going to try and cut inside pass it up to Barkley Barkley's going to try and thread a f uh, 
sorry, thread a ball back through. What is wrong with me today, honestly? And then here again, Lukaku up to Human Sun. For some reason, they stop running at, um, sometimes for me, and it's really frustrating because, you know, I could have tried to break away. Lukaku nabs it again here, c turns back on himself, smashes it, and oh, like, how does that not go in? It's just absolutely beyond me. But you can see here, we do get a corner, so you know what, like... We cross it in with Baines. Decent corner. Unfortunately, top right couldn't get his head on it. James McCarthy brings it down. Finesses. And look at that for a finish. That is honestly one of the nicest goals I have scored in, like, the last... In the entirety of FIFA 14. That is an absolute scream. And to think that McCarthy... I think he's in 79 overall at the moment. Which is crazy to think that he's banging in goals like that for us. Look at that. Takes a touch. And just finesses it right over the keeper. I know it's unprofessional. But still, that is an absolutely beautiful goal. Look at that. Absolute peach of a goal. Perfectly over the keeper. The keeper doesn't even bother to try and save that. And I don't blame him because that is an absolutely brilliant finish. And I was so happy that we managed to pick up the, you know, the goal late on in the game to hopefully secure the three points. And at, it does secure the three points in the Euro League, which now means we're on a total of seven. And we do move on into the final game. But first, we're going to sim a game against here, against Stoke. I know I said I wouldn't sim, but the Capital One Cup, for me, is not a you know a thing that I want to win. I'm going to sim it, use my second team. We're going to focus on the FA Cup, as when you get the task set for you at the start, the, the Domestic Cup qualifies for the FA Cup or the Capital One Cup. So we can try and get a good run in in the FA Cup. And it also means less fixtures for our main team to be playing, which is always good. And I'll always use a reserve team or the second team for the Capital One Cup to try and gain some of the youngsters some experience into the team. But you can see we do have a game against Swansea here, which, of course, I'm going to play. But first, we do have some adjustments to make to the team. Seamus Coleman did get a red card in the game against Stoke that we sinned, which is a little bit unfortunate. And here you can see I do speed it up a little bit just to make it less boring. I would just keep this stuff in, but for like that clip probably would have been like a minute long, and it's not really worth you guys just seeing me go through. And you can see Sun, I change his thing so he stays forward and he doesn't just track back all the time. And I also do change the formation to a 4-5-1, but with all the, the, the right mid cam and the left mid all in a line, which hopefully will be better. If you guys have any formations that you think would be useful for this type of team, I look to try and keep one striker up front until the January transfer window, and I may try and buy another one. But I go with the 4-5-1, uh, I think it's the default one actually. And I was quite happy with the way that that worked. Barkley, Morales and Son with Lukaku up front on his own. We are on professional again, obviously, 4 minute halves. And you can see here we do go into the game against Swansea City, which should be a good game and, and nonetheless. And uh, yeah, you can see all the team coming out there. I do try and include some of the BPL overlays and stuff, but it does drag on for a little bit. So I won't do it every game, I do it occasionally. Or if you want it every game, then I could do it. But I just feel, feel that after a while, it would get boring. But Ki Sung Young here, coming through for Swansea. Good clearance there. Managed to keep it away. And I was quite happy, you know, that we were starting to play better. I know that I know the difficulty is a little bit easier. But to be honest, but I think professional is a decent difficulty for now anyway. And it definitely makes it more entertaining for you guys, which is the main thing. You know, I don't want to provide boring gameplay, which I feel has been the case for the last couple of episodes. Where we haven't really been winning much. But Dyer here turns on us, and look at that. Like, that, honestly, it pissed me off a little bit, because although we still have time to get back in the game, it was just annoying to concede that. Baines with a free kick there. Another bad free kick. I'm really bad at the indirect. You know, I just, for some reason, can't get it into the box. But McCarthy there manages to slot it home to make it one all and James McCarthy he is on fire at the moment two goals in two games and what important goals they have been the winner and the equaliser as well look at that from um, I can't remember who threaded that through actually but nonetheless decent finish by James McCarthy down to Lukaku though he threads through Barkley Barkley to Human Son Human Son with his weak foot I believe he's left footed what a screamer that is I'm so happy that Human Son finally does something for us which is great to see because I would like to keep him you know that five star weak foot is not everything that is not a thing that everybody has, and it does set him aside from other left midfielders. Is he does have that five star? Look at that though, curls just inside the post. It looks so nice that finish as well. So so pleased with that, and I couldn't believe that he actually scored it because shots like that in FIFA 15 just tend not to work. But nonetheless, very good goal from Human Sun to make it 2-1, and that was the half time. I thought that was the end of the game. Then I was like, what? So we still have some more to go yet. But Dyer down here. Obviously, Nathan Dyer is a pain in the ass because he has like some 90-something pace. But we do manage to keep him away. And then Shelby comes in here. Very dodgy defender. He was going to go for a slide tackle there with Gareth Barry in the box. But it's always risky on this game because you do give away penalties, as you have seen, very easily. Luckily, whoever that was hit the bar. Or I think it was the 
between the bar and the crossbar there, the kind of the corner of it. And I was worried that that there was going to be a penalty for them. But Jagielka doing what he does in real life, coming up the field, passes it to Lukaku. Lukaku tries to thread through James McCarthy, I do believe that was there. Unfortunately, it didn't work, and they get back onto trying to get a counter attack going. Which, I don't know, does it work? I don't think it does, actually. Popov there. Seems to be a good player for Swansea, Popov. I'm not too sure what sort of rating he is. Uh, I should know that, really, but I don't. And you can see, they were playing some pretty good football, but I managed to defend to a, a pretty quality, uh, quality, a good standard. But, and you can see there, Lukaku again, trying the rainbow flick. Not the rainbow flick, the roulette. God, I'm getting my words mixed up today. But, yeah, we were playing quite well at this point and I do actually bring on some substitutions I bring on Sonogo for Lukaku uh, yeah I do bring on Sonogo for Lukaku actually because Sonogo's a 70 now and you can see here Barkley he's running squares it to Sonogo unfortunately Sonogo can't get on the end of that which is a little bit disappointing and hopefully he can get a goal at some point for us you know it would be nice to see him on the score sheet and they come again Barkley down to Sun Sun up to Sonogo Sonogo is going to try it what can he do? Not a lot. His pace really isn't there for some reason. But Barkley wins it back. Threads through Yaya Sonogo. He goes in on goal. Left foot. Smashes it into the bottom corner. And that is Sonogo's first goal for the team. And I would like to try and get Yaya Sonogo in our team at the end of the season if he's cheap. Because he looks like someone who could grow a lot and will probably replace Eto when he leaves if he can grow. I mean, he's not injury prone anymore, Sonogo, which is good. And he will be a great signing, but a lovely finish there to make it 3-1. Very convincing victory and a very convincing three points nonetheless. But that is going to pretty much tie up the episode. You can see here we do get an email from the board that says our performance has improved, which is good, which means we shouldn't get sacked. All positive. And this episode has definitely been a better episode than the last. If you have enjoyed, as always, if we could hit five likes, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There will be a link down in the description below. And try and help me get to 300 subscribers, which would be absolutely awesome. But for now, I will speak to you guys in the next episode.